Yes, so by way of further homage to Dave's love of uh, comic verse, a couple of poems. One of them, of course, has to be a Les Barker. This was performed by him for us when he appeared at the, the old Coker's site that we were on. Detritus. Go placidly amid the noise and haste and remember what peace there may be in silence. Do not walk behind me, for I may not lead. Do not walk in front, for I may not follow. Go over there somewhere. <laughs> Speak your truth quietly and clearly. Be open-minded, but do not lean forward or your brain may fall out. <laughs> know that there will be good days and there will be bad days. And this is one of them. <laughs> Never accept a drink from a urologist. <laughs> Always dismantle and clean the dog before going to bed, but avoid the use of spot remover. <laughs> You may never see him again. <laughs> you are a child of the universe. It is a small world, unless you have to paint it. <laughs> Do not wish for everything, unless you have a really big cupboard. And Do not worry about the pace of life. Concern yourself only with its sudden ending. Avoid loud and aggressive persons. Sleep well. If you cannot sleep well, practice more often. <laughs> Borrow from pessimists. They don't expect it back. <laughs> Remember, if you give a man a fish, he will eat for a day, teach him to fish, and he will sit in a boat and drink himself stupid. <laughs> it is always darkest before the dawn. That's the best time to steal your neighbor's newspaper. <laughs> Be gentle with yourself. Bear in mind that depression is anger without enthusiasm. <laughs> And good health, merely the slowest way to die. <laughs> Never argue with a fool, for he is doing the same. <laughs> know that if at first you don't succeed, skydiving's not a good idea. <laughs> and that timing has a lot to do with the outcome of a rain dance. <laughs> Always remember that all is not lost, though you haven't seen it for some time. <laughs> be yourself. If you cannot become wiser, try to be older. <laughs> Aim as I do to live forever. So far, I'm doing all right. <laughs> Never stand between the dog and the lamppost. <laughs> and never hit a man with glasses. Always use something larger and heavier. <laughs> and remember that some people are only alive because it's illegal to kill them. <laughs> A closed mouth gathers no feet. <laughs> Nature abhors a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> be cheerful, strive to be happy, and remember that your sole purpose in life is to serve as a warning to others. <laughs> Go far and start as soon as possible. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
This poem is by the English Mike Harding, The Ghost of the Café Gunga Din. Now there's a little café they call the Gunga Din. In a dark part of the city that's renowned for vice and sin. And all around the tables when the lights are growing dim, walks the ghost of the Café Gunga Din. He staggers round the table with madness in his eyes, following the waiters. Water! Water! is his cry. And all the light ale cavalry think he's one of them as he walks in the Café Gunga Din. They say he was a parson who came and drank one night, and that vicar full of liquor had his heart set all alight by Fatima, the chef's young daughter, when he caught her in his blurred sight. They fell in love in the cafe Gunga Din. Now this Arthur curried favour with that girl called Fatima, but that erotic cleric did not score with her papa. When he caught them having a rogue and Josh, he thought they'd gone too far. <laughs> Behind the coats in the cafe Gunga Din. You cassock Casanova, he said. His eyes were full of hate. Then Fatima saw her papa had hands chock full of plates. So she shouted out in Bombay, duck. <laughs> but it was too late. Now he's the ghost of the cafe Gunga Din. Oh, what's my papa dog? she said. <laughs> that poor chap art is dead. Cause a flying bowl of mulligatawny's cracked the back of his head. <laughs> and he swallowed a gallon of vindaloo. That's what the coroner said. Now here's the ghost of the cafe Gunga Din. So if you're going to that cafe they call the Gunga Din. When the drunks fall asleep in their dinners you might catch a glimpse of him. He staggers round the table with madness in his eyes. His parson's nose is all aglow. Water is his cry. And from out his Kyber Pass, you can see the hot sparks fly. He's the ghost of the Cafe Gunga Din. <laughs> Oh man, Dave would have loved those, eh? <laughs> I can hear him laughing at the bank. <laughs> Thank you, Russell.